So how are you gonna do this? Oh my god, it looks so weird. Oh wow. And what do we have here? These look like uh these are the surprise, right? All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. I'm hanging with Rosena from The Minority Taste. You can check out her YouTube channel in the description below. And today, we are deep outside of Colombo in a local market. And we're gonna have a ton of delicious food. What's the plan? So we're gonna go have a home-cooked meal with a proper surprise element for you. Awesome. And then we're gonna go for a proper Sri Lankan late lunch and a street-style food not to be missed in Sri Lanka. Awesome, let's check it out. Get ready for an extreme street food tour and an amazing home-cooked meal experience. Because today, Rosena from The Minority Taste is bringing us in deep to a local market in Colombo and an amazing home-cooked meal cooked by her grandmother. You're gonna love this video, so make sure to watch all the way until the end because we're bringing you for some amazing and extreme food experiences. Let's eat. Wow. There's just so much color in this market. And this is all local Sri Lankan produce. Yeah, this is all local Sri Lankan produce. Our soil is like really rich. You put anything in it and it'll just grow. Really? Yeah, and also most of our stuff is like organic. So, oh. and it's really cheap. You don't have to go for a special supermarket. It's just too. so colorful. Yeah, it Look is. Look at all this. Eggplant, radish. Tomato, where's the spice? We gotta get the spice. Yeah, come, let's look for the spice. Wow, there is just so much here. And these are all dried fish? Yes, this is all dried fish. Oh. We are very famous for our seafood and oh. also our dried fish. Look at these. Yeah. So these are all anchovy? Yeah, this is dried anchovy. This is very famous. We make a very, very delicious fried anchovy dish with onions in them. You should try and you will get to try it hopefully in the late lunch today. Oh, awesome. So how would you use all of these dried fish? So we like to stir fry them with onions and a lot of chilies okay. and then we fry them. Then we can cook them in a curry with based in coconut oh, milk. Wow. You can have it any way you like. Oh, and look at this. Yeah. This is tuna. Oh, tuna, tuna chunks. Yeah, yeah. This is the Maldi fish. Oh. Yeah, this is the Maldi fish. So this is really, really tough. But we pound them and grind them and make it into a, like a powder or like shreds ah, and then we use them. And you put this in the coconut sambal? Yeah, we put this in the coconut sambal, we put this in various other things as well. And we'll be having this today? We'll be having this today. We have another speciality and that is our very own hot chili. Oh. That's the kochi. So this is the kochi chili which is really really hot although they're small. They're super super hot and they're just dangerous little bombs. Wow. Kochi Mary's yeah. chili. And this and is And these cold. are deadly. Yeah, they are deadly. So if I bit into it, would I be able to Do you wanna bite into it? <laughs> would I live? You would live. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen to your tongue though, <laughs> but you'd live. And there's just so much here. So these are the miris? Yeah, this is the kochi miris. This kochi is our miris. Sri Lankan speciality. And this is also another special chili called the nai miris, also called the snake chili. Oh. So both of them are hot, I'm but they're so flavorful. I mean, you add just one into like a curry, like a dal curry or like a coconut sambal. It just gives you that pop it of like- It just brings it to yeah, life. Brings wow. it to life. And I'm just in awe of the color here. All yeah. the fruit, all the veg, so much spices. Look at this cinnamon. This is this is this is our gold. You know? This is gold. This is gold because our Ceylon cinnamon has the best flavor ever. Oh, this market is just breathtaking. Hi. Hey. <laughs> oh, so many spices here. Look yeah. at these. So these are some of our very famous and popular spices. This is the clove. Oh. We just use two or three of these in per curry because it's so strong and aromatic. Oh, that yeah. is so potent. Strong. Yeah. <laughs> these are our cardamom. And you just like crush it a little bit. Again, we use only two or three pods of this per curry because it's so aromatic and fragrant. Oh. Wow, and what are these here? These are the curry leaves and the pandan leaves. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite in the world because wow. it gives so much flavor. Pandan leaf. The pandan leaf. Mm. Rampe. And also this is the famous curry leaf. You, without curry leaf, we don't have a curry in Sri Lanka. You need the pandan yeah. and the curry. What is this here? So this is sago oh. and green gram. Same. Sago? Sago and green gram. Green gram? Yeah. Oh. And then it's cooked with uh, coconut milk and palm sugar, our local version of like jaggery. It's like, it's a jaggery. Okay. Our version of the palm sugar. 
Yeah, so it's made with treco. Wow. And when you have this, it's supposed to nourish you and it's like gives you energy and it cools your body. Uh -huh. So it's good for the heat. Let's get one each. Oh, so here it is. So it's a sago, palm sugar, coconut, and tapioca. Uh, yeah, sago is tapioca. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And green gram. And it's sweet. It's and green sweet. gram. Yeah. And hot. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is incredibly unique. Yeah. That is unlike anything I've ever tasted. Yeah. Just gingery. Yeah, because they put spices in it. Now, there'll be like the uh, cloves in it, the cardamom, the cinnamon. So it's a mix of spices it's with the palm sugar. spicy and sweet. Yeah. You can taste the palm sugar. And there's coconut milk just to mellow it down. And smooth and milky. Mm -hmm. And the tapioca seeds just play around your mouth. It's wow. like, yeah. That is really good. Ooh. Ella Kiri. Ella Kiri. Ella Kiri. Ella Kiri. Cheers. That is amazing. So we got our herbs, we got our spices, we got our knock you down chilies. Oh. We're good to go. Awesome. Let's go. Yeah. And after a quick drive through the beautiful Sri Lankan village countryside, we arrived at Rosena's grandmother's home for a huge lunch feast. So this is my uncle's house where my grandmother lives too. Okay. So I'm warmly welcoming oh. you, the food ranger, to my humble home. I am so excited for this. This is my wonderful grandmother <laughs> who's going to be cooking for us wow. today. Thank you for having us. Oh. This is really nice <laughs> to yeah, be nice here. Nice to see you all. Uh, Thank you. Oh, we're so excited. And when we walked in, Rosena's wonderful grandmother had a huge, beautiful feast almost ready for us, with only a couple dishes left to cook. The dishes that I ended up loving the most, the two varieties of both beef brain and testicle. Oh, is this brain? Yeah, I tell you. Boiled, and then it's cut into pieces, and uh, you egg wash, and then dust with crumbs, bread crumbs, and now you have to fry that. So we'll fry the brain? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Fried brain is like a special. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like a super special dish because it's like fatty, melty cheese and it's yeah, crumb it's fried. Kind of. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And what do we have here? These look like, uh, these are the surprise, right? Yeah, these are the surprises that we left for I you. I think I know what these are. But usually it's not given to be consumed for unmarried women. Okay, so this is just me. This is just <laughs> is for that you. Right? Only for the males. Okay. Only for the males. Okay, I'm uh, excited. So is there, are these going to be spicy? Mm. You can cook both ways. Both ways? Oh, we're just cutting in there. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen the inside. <laughs> and this is the special for today. Yeah, it is special. The special. And this is just for me. Mm. Just the boys. Yeah, don't let the girls eat. Have you ever tried? No. No. We're not allowed to eat it. Not allowed. Yeah, so especially unmarried, but although I'm married now, it's still like a big no no. My grandmother wouldn't like let me have it. Should Ting I'm try? Like or only for the men? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. And before we knew it, Rosena's grandmother was preparing both the testicles and the brain in two different styles. One peppery and one with chili. And while it was cooking, Rosena brought us outside to make the famous Sri Lankan pole sambal. So I'm going to show you guys a really, really simple but most popular dish called okay. the pole sambal. So you need coconut, okay? So this is like, you know, showing what rich country our soil is. And we've got like shallots. You can use red onion, but shallots give that flavor. Two Chilier. types of chilies, salt, and the Maldive fish I told you, I oh. showed you. So this is how it looks when it's like pounded. That's fish from the Maldives. Yeah, and lime. So what you do first is like you just pound it all together. This is really, really easy. Are you getting the smell of mm. the chili? That is potent. Yeah. It's like breathing a burning flame. I can't believe I'm making Trevor James pound <laughs> onions at my place. And I'm make, getting him to make pole sambal. Ah, this is awesome. I know. So it doesn't give much color. So what we do is we add a little bit chili powder for color. And 
pepper. Oh, you're gonna love this one. And when we were done, the feast was ready. Wow, this is just amazing. Thank you so much yes. for having us here. So this is milk yam. Milk yam. Mm. Kiriala. With beef? Yeah, mm. with beef. Oh. With beef. Then we made like a dry um, dal, dal curry. curry. So lentils. Yes, lentils it's a lentil and curry, curry leaves. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Then this is a spleen with lemongrass that we bought. Beef spleen with lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass oh. flavor. Then this is the spleen, black pepper and curry leaf flavor. Okay, so and two different flavors yeah. of spleen. So we are using a lot of cinnamon. We have used a lot of cinnamon. A lot in of most cinnamon. Of, Ceylon most, cinnamon. Ceylon yeah. cinnamon. In most of the curries, we have used cinnamon here. Yeah, oh, so. beautiful. This is the brains too. With uh, like I said, with the onions. little. Onions. Oh, so this is the brain with the onion. onions. Onions, vinegar, pepper. And the cinnamon. Yeah, oh, again cinnamon. Beautiful. Then okra, ladies' fingers. We have made a little Sri Lankan version of um, that is morning glory. Morning glory. Oh, and this is the special here. The special. <laughs> the beef. The, the beef special. The beef special. Yeah. So this. And is, we've got two different types yeah, of the beef. So yeah. this is another version of it. So it's with chilies and onions, and it's like made like Spicier a stir fry with yeah. onions. And how long have you been cooking for? Rosina was saying you started when you were twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and in for the your olden family. days. Yeah, yeah, in the olden days, you had to like you know, there's no help or anything. Women had to do everything because that is the culture. If the female in the home didn't do all that, they were like the. According to my grandmother, the home is not prosperous enough oh. or anything like that. So we'll start with the rice. Okay. Because rice is what Sri Lanka is known for. It brings prosperity. Right over the banana leaves. Yeah, right over the banana leaves. Brings prosperity. Yeah, so this is our, this is what we have. We have our own type of rice. This is called samba rice. Oh wow, I just am blown away with the mm -hmm. color here. So much color and spice. Yeah. Oh, and that's the, the, dal. the dal. Yeah. Then I'm gonna put a little yam. Little yam. With beef. And the beef. Oh. Wow. The spleen the and spleen. the lemongrass. Spleen and lemongrass. Yeah, and this is the pepper pepper and pepper. curry leaf spleen. Pepper curry leaf spleen. So this is the brain. Oh, the brain. Brain stew with Ceylon cinnamon and pepper. That smells fantastic yeah. with the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. No, the spice. And this is mainly for the minions. Males. For the minions. For health. This is the onion, pepper. Yeah, let me see what you want and did it with pepper. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Granny. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at the color on this plate. That is... Sri Lankan have a lot of colors. Sri Lankan color. Sri Lankan... And it's all natural yeah, ingredients. Natural, yeah. All natural. All natural. Yeah. Oh, this is the, the brain cutlet yes, here. Yes, yes. The brain fried yeah, cutlet. Try, try, try it. No? Okay. And the fried spleen. And the fried spleen. Oh, wow. Oh, and the sambal. Yeah. The coconut chili coconut. sambal that we made outside. Yes, yeah, but see, it's very hot enough. It's spicy. Mm. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> warning has been given. Okay. No warning. Start with the Rice. cutlet. The brain cutlet? Brain mm. cutlet? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's like a cheesy potato cutlet, but brain. So what you can do is you can mix. Mix some sambal with yeah, it? Yeah, mix some sambal, some dal. You take a little bit of everything. That's how oh, you eat Sri Lankan food. Oh, just mix it all up. Some dal. Some dal. Some dal and just, some pepper spleen. Yeah, just add a little bit of everything. Okay. Just a little bit of everything. Just a touch of everything and then yeah. scoop it right in. Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh, that is really soft. Mmm. <laughs> oh. And before I knew it, it was time to dig into the testicles. So which one? Try the pepper one. Try the pepper one, this one. Mm. Okay, with a little dal mm. and a little rice. And there it is right there. Mm. Okay, let's try it out. Mmm. <laughs> oh! Mmm! <laughs> it's just like chicken. <laughs> it's just like chicken with a dal. And peppery. Yeah, peppery. <laughs> Very tasty. <laughs> the testicles are really delicious. Smooth, peppery, a little bit of that onion. So much spice in there. And your mouth just feels happy when you eat this. <laughs> really amazing. <laughs>
Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. But this amazing meal was just the beginning. Rosanna brought us for more amazing street food in Colombo to finish off the day. Starting out first with an amazing local rice and curry joint and finishing up with an extremely satisfying dish known as the Dolphin Kotu. What an amazing time in Colombo and what are we having next? So in Sri Lanka you have to experience a local Batka day. If you don't experience a Batka day you haven't been in Sri Lanka. Batka day. Yeah. So a like kade. a little local lunch joint? Yeah. Bat means rice, kade means shop. So rice, rice shop. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Here we are. Oh, and there's just scooping the chicken onto rice here. So much. Yeah, and can you see just a small plate? And yeah. then they like scoop it up <laughs> so full and you can just get in there and like really oh, enjoy. That's the joy of yeah. life. Wow. <laughs> And he's just scooping, what is this here? That's the fried chicken. Fried chicken, there's the curry chicken, oh. the gizzard. There's nothing more satisfying than pouring curries onto yeah. rice. Look at all this, so what's this here? So this is the deviled prawns. Deviled prawns. Yeah. Oh, and you can see the onion. Yeah, and the chili. And the chili, mm -hmm. oh, and then so many others here too. This is gizzard. Gizzard? Yeah. Devil gizzard. Devil gizzard. Then there's devil cuttlefish. Oh. Actually, that is squid though. Squid. Yeah, squid with onion, the melon. Then this is a luna sambal. You can have this. Like an onion spicy yeah. sambal. Onion, chilies, tomato, fish stock with lime and salt. Oh. Then this is the spreads. Oh. Most famous food that like we can have. Like a dried fish. Dried salted spreads with um, it's stir fried in oil and chili and it's just wow. yum. Oh, and I've been looking forward to a local little curry joint like yeah. this ever since we landed. Yeah. Oh, some dal. Yeah. Then the vegetables. Just one vegetable actually. Some veg. Yeah. Awesome. Kosambol. Kosambol. Kosambol and dal is a must. That's the classic, right? Yeah, that's the classic. Uh, oh, spread yeah. fry. And just look at the color on that plate. Yeah. Oh, look at that sauce. Wow. So you can choose which part and you like. And maybe some scoop of yeah. sauce on there too. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. the stuff. That's <laughs> the stuff. And this just looks incredible. Uh -huh. Look at the color. I know. Wow. So this is called the bat kade. Yeah, the bat kade rice. So what did we get here? We got beautiful chicken. Yeah, the devil chicken. Devil chicken. Oh. The devil prawns. The spread fry. Yeah, the, the dried, dried fish. Spreads, the dried fish. Then the pole samban pariku is a classic, it's a must have. Oh, the color. Right? And there's a little bit of vegetables like pumpkin and the beans. And this is melon, which goes really well. It's also not like a pole sambal, but it's more fresh. So what's it made of? So it's a herb. It's a herb and uh, lime and coconut and onions and chili and everything. So it's like a salad almost, but it's very nourishing and very good for you, mm. but tasty as well. So it's oh. like giving you that tang. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. This is the shrimp? Yeah, this is the shrimp. The devil shrimp. Devil shrimp. And you yeah. can just see the color, the red, the chili, the mm -hmm. onion. Oh, and all over rice. So what you do is you take a little bit of everything, right? Okay. Like a little bit of posambal, paripu, the spreads. So you just mix that all up? Yeah, we mix it all up because we want the flavor to blend in with the rice and like, you know, because it it like mashes everything together and the flavor is much better when oh, you do it this way. Oh, and you get it into a mound. Yeah, we get it so into a mound. So it's like a rainbow of curry. Yeah. Oh. In one bite. Oh, I don't know if that's the way to do it. That's the way. That's is that the way. way? That is the oh, way. And then what do you do? You just push it in with your thumb, right? Yeah. So you scoop it up, make it into a mold, and you use your thumb to as push it in. As a pusher. Yeah, as a pusher awesome. into your mouth. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. That is seriously good. I just had a beautiful bite of sweet, spicy onions and coriander. It's really good, right? Wow. Those are so delicious. Crispy, a little salty. Spicy. With the rice, spicy. Yeah, home cooked meal is different experience, but this right here is so Sri Lankan. Mm. This is the heart of Sri Lanka in a bat kade. Wow. And after that amazing bat kade experience, Rosena is bringing us for one more insanely delicious street food of Colombo, the dolphin kotu. So this is our final stop. This is a must try in Colombo. And if you're going to have it, you're going to have it at the Grand Pilaus. Pilaus. Yeah. Dolphin kotu. Dolphin kotu. But it's but not real dolphin. It's not the dolphin. It's not the real dolphin, <laughs> okay. obviously. Ooh. 
So they make it right here. Yeah, they're gonna make it right here. Right. We're definitely gonna order the dolphin cocktail. The dolphin cocktail. Yeah. It's not the real dolphin. It's just that the roti is cut up really long. And this is what is this here? This is a cheese masala kotu. Cheese masala kotu. So yeah. you can get all different types. All different types of kotu. Of kotu. Oh, and this is it here. So he's gonna make our dolphin kotu right now. Yes, this is our dolphin oh. kotu. Oh, and he's just throwing some chili. What's all going into the wok here? So oil. Chili flakes, chili powders, salt, a little bit of flavoring agents, oh. then the cut up vegetables, onions, chilies, tomatoes, it's, tomato sauce. It's all going in. Yeah, it's all going in. And why is it called the dolphin kotu? So a normal kotu is made in a flat griddle and it's cut up into pieces and they make that really loud noise, remember? Yeah. The dolphin kotu is made in a wok like this. So first they make a pool of water like that wow. and then put long cut up pieces that something looks like a dolphin. Of roti. Yeah, of roti. Oh, and what's he putting in here? Gravy. That's gravy. Where, yeah. Secret gravy sauce. Secret gravy. Yeah. And wow. then they put these long cut up slices of roti and then it jumps up and oh, down. Oh, here's the roti. Yeah. Oh. See how big and thick it is? Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks like it's swimming and jumping up and down in a pool. Or like, you like know. Like dolphins yeah. in the ocean. Yes, like dolphins in the ocean. Oh, and an egg. Awesome. Egg and extra oh, and chicken. chicken. Fried chicken. That looks awesome. Wow. The dolphin kotu. So you can see the onions, you can see the chicken. Yeah, curry leaves and vegetables and spices and chilies. Wow. So it's going to be Thank something you. really nice. Thank you. So what did we get here today? So this is egg roti. This is egg, egg roti. roti. Yeah. The egg roti, the godamba stuffed with egg. They put fried chicken, right? This is slices of fried chicken. And this is like an onion sambal, right? So it's awesome. onions, green chilies, tomatoes, and lime and pepper. So there's and like a spicy tangy. Spicy and yeah. peppery. Yeah. This is what we came here for, right? Yeah, this is what we came here for. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh. That's really good. Oh, wow. It's like a spicy fried roti that's peppery mm -hmm. with so many spices you can taste those curry leaves and the mm -hmm. onions a bit of a secret tomato-y goodness in there yeah the gravy sauce the gravy <laughs> which saturates into that kotu yeah. you guys gotta check out Rosanna's awesome YouTube channel in the description below go subscribe now she has a ton of amazing videos and that was just the best day ever thank you for visiting Sri Lanka Trav. I hope you enjoy your stay and especially our local cuisine it was just amazing